welcome everybody uh so we are going to continue with the workshop the workshop that we have been doing the past three days in the first day we did some speaking in which we did some expressions of agreeing disagreeing and expressing opinion and in the second one uh we did some grammar accuracy in which we uh, learned how to talk about um an imaginary or not an any imaginary situation in the present or the future accurately we focused on accuracy there and in the third day of this um workshop we are going to look at sounds of english as you can see in the background that means pronunciation and other things so i've been thinking about a question right i'm going to show that question to you um use your microphone to answer or you can use the chat chats to answer this question um here is the question just a second so this is the question why do different people sound different from each other when they speak english what is the reason use your microphone and answer it or use the chat chat option anybody is it the accent uh okay accent okay anything else other than accent so let me write that down accent right anything else other than accent who answered is was that uh, ashutosh no who answered now no that was me kush kush okay <laughs> nice to see you kush so other than accent what do you think uh, makes people sound different well this is the only thing that came into my okay lovdeep says we way of speaking okay way of speaking is a very broad thing love uh, lovdeep would you want to unmute and exp- explain what you mean by way of speaking the way they pronounce the words the way they pronounce the words right so pronunciation right It depends so, upon the origin of a person origin of a person who just spoke what what's who spoke now rinaldini rinaldini that is a very uh that that's a correct one even i agree with that so you just said origin right origin of It's people so some people what is the origin the di- dialect so you just said dialect okay these are they're really uh relevant answers all of them because i did some research and i found out that yes all of these things have a very uh very direct um influence on the way we speak right so i'm going to focus on two things the first thing is accent and the second thing is pronunciation right so here it is so i've got two definitions here so the first definition says your dash includes things like your intonation and rhythm of speech uh it is anything that makes you sound foreign to someone uh who is from a different country or different region or class you know social status etc and the second one says your dash is your ability to pronounce words so can you write on the chat box or use a microphone to answer number 1 and number 2 which one is accent and which one is pronunciation ashutosh natural yes number 1 is ex, uh, uh, accent number 2 uh-huh. is pronunciation uh who's speaking was that lovdeep yes yes okay raj says accent number 1 number 2 pronunciation ashutosh anchal shivani two you say two is pronunciation many of you are giving the answers let's check the answer so the number 1 is as you said correctly is accent and number 2 is pronunciation absolutely correct now mark the differences here right so 
accent is all about things like intonation and rhythm of speech by intonation it means the change of pitch sometimes which which changes the meaning also for example uh you did your homework so homework it went up and you did your homework it went down at the end right the pitch went down so um you did your homework it means a question and you did your homework means a statement but in some countries it's different sometimes um they use the falling tone the falling intonation to ask questions like where is this medicine right where is this medicine it falls but in in some places they say where is the medicine again which it rises out right so it it differs from place to place and hence the accent changes rhythm of speech you know the way they pause the way uh, they string words together the way one word falls into another word and becomes a little different sounds a little different so these all things differ according to the country you come from the region or the class be it social status all these things decide your accent on the other hand you've got pronunciation right pronunciation means your ability to pronounce words in a way that it makes them understandable so by understandable it means it 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 means that pronunciation is all about meaning right so understandable to other speakers of the language so it means you really have to focus on being understood right so which one do you think is more important do you think accent is more important or do you think pronunciation is more important pronunciation is more important pronunciation okay okay who spoke second raj uh raj okay uh, raj so why do you think pronunciation is more important yeah because that will make people understand what you're saying correct or so the meaning you're communicating is... should be clear to the other person who is listening to you yes absolutely so sometimes it's it's okay to uh just forget about how you are sounding <laughs> is it good or not something that you like or not uh that is not as important as making the other person understand what you're saying right so for that you need pronunciation right so pronunciation adds uh, like it 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 holds more value than accent that is something that i believe uh, absolutely but you know like there are other people whose job depends on their accent like there's uh, the bpo people where they they work in the customer service where they take training for accents for them it's okay yes. to learn accent you know they they learn british or american australian or different accents of different countries and uh, there are different vna trainers like voice and accent trainers who train them in accents and it's okay for them but you know uh, like a friend who has grown up in the same place as i am from my hometown and he suddenly comes in says that hey anshu would you want to have some coffee and i would be really <laughs> it would, i'd be really feeling weird that w- w- what's wrong with you why are you using that it, it is very very funny when you're trying to copy someone else's accent else's accent yeah. uh so the best thing to do is just focus on your pronunciation and not the accent so let's understand accent a little more there's something that you should do with accent right and that is train your ear for accents not your tongue right so what do i mean by that by ear i mean listening you should be able to understand when someone speaks to you in different accent right so you need to listen people uh, once you've spoken then after that mute yourself okay as there will be noise in the background so uh you need to listen to different accents and try to understand what they mean but you should not try to produce those accents right so that is the meaning of not training your tongue right and you're training your ears so all that is important in accent is just to understand by watching different movies and analyzing that hey that certain other accents have different features i should be able to understand and then have a pronunciation which is standard so that the person who is listening to you can understand you clearly right that's all 
that you need to do when it comes to learning a language and focusing on the sound of a language, right? In any language, I think not just English. So uh, let's focus on things which matter in pronunciation the most. Okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot. So uh, we are going to look at this uh, brilliant article quickly just just a sneak peek of the article which is a which is a beautiful one for you to understand the difference between accent and um, pronunciation i have put the qr code here and uh, uh, i hope it's recording yeah it's recording um, and in the recording when you listen uh, watch the recording again this video then you can just take out your phones switch on your QR code scanner and scan this and get the article. I'm going to show you a quickly sneak peek of the article so that uh, you can get an idea. So this is the article that I'm talking about. It's called Language Learning Accent versus Pronunciation. It's written by this guy here. You can see there at the corner. It's Dan Poo. It's in the website called ChinaExpactSociety.com. And they've written really beautifully about pronunciation, accent, and the downside of pursuing accent. So go through it uh, after the session. And uh, there are more links to similar uh, articles that would definitely help you too. Right. So let me continue from here. Okay. Now, we're looking at pronunciation. We have all understood that pronunciation is more important than accents. But what is pronunciation? See, pronunciation has a lot of things. Like, it's a huge topic that covers so many things. Like, uh, stress, when to stress within a word. For example, punctuality or pronun pronunciation. See, like, within a word, there are more stress syllables. And then there are, like, sentences. For example, I did my homework. So I and did, uh, uh, I did, my did has more stress. So there's word stress. Then uh, intonation is there when the pitch goes up and down. Then there's pauses. Then a, a lot of other features, you know, like some, as we saw in the previous sessions, like some words get linked, right? Like an apple. It's not an apple, an apple. So there are many things to look at pronunciation. But one of the things which is fundamental to uh, pronunciation is the individual sounds of a language, right? So, um, what do I mean by individual sounds? You know, letters and sounds, they don't have a very strong relationship in English. Let me explain what I mean. Um, so, take this word do, for example. Okay? So, T O two, right? T, T has the T sound and O has the U sound, right? And then there's another word, G O go. G has the G sound, but O the same one. It had the U sound in the in the previous word, and this time it has the O sound, like go. So it, it's it's kind of strange. You can't really look at a word and understand what the sound of the word will be right so if there's a new word suddenly you see somewhere vo how will you pronounce it vo uh, someone said vo now see but to is do so by that logic it could have been vo vu also right so you can't be 100 percent sure here now right, let's take right. yeah yeah and let's take another example in our language in indian language like in, in I, i'm a speaker of hindi so i can write a bit so uh there's a word which doesn't exist in uh english in hindi this word right but can you try to pronounce it people who know this language just just unmute yourself and try to pronounce this word Farm. More people can also try. What's the pronunciation Pum. of this? Pum. 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 Mm -hmm. See, so all of you, people who are trying to pronounce, all of you pronounce it exactly the same way, right? And uh, there's some Bangla speakers here also. So uh, for them, let me write something in Bangla. 
in Bengali. Although I'm not a very good uh, writer of Bangla, neither am I a speaker of Bangla. But still, if I write this word, which is again, I know is is a word that is not there in Bangla, but you can still pronounce it. So Bengali speakers, can you unmute yourself and try to pronounce this word? Okay. Anyone else? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So you, you, I think you got my point. Be it Bangla or Hindi, everybody will pronounce a word in exactly the same way, right? Just by looking at the spelling of it. But you just saw that in English, it doesn't it doesn't work like that, right? As Amitabh Bachchan says, English is a funny language, right? So in order to deal with this. Um, you know, linguists and educationists, they have come up with something called the IPA. IPA means International Phonetic Alphabets. By phonetic, it means sounds, right? Well, we are looking at a separate language here that is made just to understand language, right? For example, uh, the word that VO, if that word gets included, it will have an IPA separately. So the sound V, and if it's O, then O, right? And it has two slashes that shows the sound. Now you might be thinking what this is, right? And that is what we are going to look at in detail. So using this app, okay? This app is called Learn English Sounds Right. You can get it in Play Store or App Store. You can download it later after the lesson today. And uh, the, bu- the the good the reason this app is made is to look at all the sounds of English, okay? Because this app has the phonemic chart. Oh, let me write it here. Phonemic or phonetic chart. It means it has all the sounds of English, right? And there you can find it online also the chart. But this the the, the good thing about the app is you can touch all those sounds and listen to the sound and get used to the sound, right? It's from this organization called British Council. And uh, I'm a a teacher and teacher trainer of English in this organization also. Um, So I'm going to quickly show you how this app works and how, how the sounds of English work, right? So let me take you to the app. This is the app here. Right, as you can see, let me take a screenshot of this. Yeah, as you can see, there are three parts here. So this is the first part. This is the second part. And here, this is the third part. So it's broken into three parts. It it looks scary, I know sometimes it looks like a, chemistry periodic table but trust me you don't need to you don't need to grasp everything together we can we can really understand it in bits um, <coughs> if you look what's written here they're called vowels right so basically these two boxes they're all vowels but the difference is the first one are called single sound vowels and the second one are called double sound um rather than instead of writing sound we have single vowel sounds and this is called double vowel sound So why single vowel and why double vowel? By the way, double vowel is also known as diphthongs as mentioned here, right? And uh, single vowels, it's not mentioned here, but they're also known as monophthongs. Diphthongs and monophthongs. But those are linguistic terms. You really don't need to know the terms. What you really need to know is English language has two types of vowels, once with single vowel sound and second with double vowel sound. For example, this sound E. If you look at this sound here, it's the E sound, the short E, right? Just one one um, single vowel sound. But if you look at this one here, 
It's ear. So E and E together, ear, like tears, like fear, right? So uh, these are the, these are the vowels here, and then the consonants are mentioned below them. The consonants are, are they these ones? As you can see, there are many sounds which look like in uh, English alphabets, right? Like p, f, t, s, k. But there are other sounds like these ones that looks that that look like Greek or Latin because they are Greek and Latin. So see, these symbols are used to capture sounds. They're just like a separate language for sounds. So if you look here, it looks like theta in the middle. And the sound is th, like thing, like uh, thing. What is that thing called? The th, th sound. And then this is the ch sound, the second one. Ch, like uh, chains. He was covered in. He he was captured in chains. Ch, right. And then if you look at this sound, that looks like an integral in maths. It it has the sh sound, like shampoo. Right, and there are many other sounds. Right, we are not going to look at all of them together because that would be crazy. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll pick up a few sounds and try to practice some usually mispronounced words. Okay, so the first two sounds that we're going to take is the first one is this sound, the e sound, and the second one is this this long e sound. Right, so let's. Um, Analyze them and see what we have. Let me delete this. So we're looking at two sounds. The first sound is e, and the second sound is e. Right. So first sound is e. Can you? Can someone unmute and uh, give? What uh, give a word that has the e sound, the long e sound? It's B. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Who said? Raj. 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 Did you say beat? B. D double e. D double e. P. P. Yeah. Ah, yes. P. P. Uh, say it again. Say it again. Speak. Speak. Did you say speak? Speak. Speech. Speech. Yes, sir. Very good. I'm Brilliant. Easy. Tree. Tanya says tree. Very good. Another one is easy. 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 Correct. So easy. Another thing is the second one has this sound. Right, it has the short sound also. Easy has two e's. Right, first is a long e, second is a short e. So let's look at some words that has only one short e. Like, see this word, beat. Right, it has another word. There's another word that has all the sounds, just that this long e becomes the short e here. Right, beat becomes bit. Right, and then deep becomes dip. Which is completely a different word, but if you mispronounce it, the meaning will get confused, right? Because, again, I'll repeat: pronunciation is all about understanding and meaning, right? So, if that pronunciation is changed, then the meaning gets lost, and people will get confused, right? Speak. There's no uh, equivalent of speak here. We don't have a word called speak, right? We have speck, but not speak. Also, speech, not speech. There's no word called speech. Can you give me more words that has the short e sound? Uh, uh, very good. Someone has written sit, lit, hit. Very good. Lit. Um, sit. Give me more. Pin, grin. Sharmista says. Chick. Ship. Correct. There are many. So now what we'll do is, we are going to. Um, Play a game. Okay, look at this here. 
Now this is an activity from this wonderful book called Pronunciation Games, right? You can uh, look this book up and order it from somewhere. It's really nice. It's by this uh, wonderful author called Mark Hancock, right? I've taken this activity from from his book Pronunciation Games, and this is how you play it. If you can see on top, there are names of different cities in the world. There's Rio de Janeiro, Singapore. Moscow, Cape Town, Sydney, Buenos Aires. Paris is just like flying over my head, right? So we will reach these different cities if we understand the correct sounds, right? So let's take two sounds, the same sounds that we had, the the long e sound into the right, just like speak okay long e sound and we have the short e sound like like skip okay the short e sound so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you four words you start from one okay and if you think that the word that i'm saying has the e sound the short short e sound then you go then you go right if if i give you a word that has the long e sign sound then you take the left right so for example if i say sit where will you go left or right right so uh, right sit right correct so you reach two here right then i say beat will you go left or right left 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 all of you uh, only when you speak then um, uh, unmute yourself rest all the time keep yourself muted yeah then um you can unmute and then say the next word is tip left or right 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 right, right. and the last word is fit Again, right, right, right. So the city that you reached is Tokyo, right? So this is how you play the game. So you are going to listen to four words, and you have to decide left and right, and you have to reach a final destination correctly. But I'm not going to uh, do this uh, speaking, right? You are going to get some practice now. I'm going to select somebody, and I will send four words. to to anybody okay and then they have to read the words from the chat and they will be saying it i'll be showing you the number first word second word and you have to read out these words okay whoever does it uh let me select one of you is there anyone who would want to do it you can raise your hand if you want to do this use the raise hand option from your non verbal um communication manner this yeah ashutosh raises his hand gautam let me give a chance to gautam gautam check your chat box i've just sent you four oh, sorry i sent you eight but it's repeated this is the first four words okay gautam gautam unmute yourself yes sir yes so word number 1 can you pronounce it is again is now you're saying is but actually how you should do it is ease make it longer ease oh is say it is like longer is that was better okay number 2 is Now see I, how both of these words sound exactly the same. Uh, so the Anshu, I'm yes. uh, confused. The first one you said is a with a longer sound that means e a s e, and the second one is i s. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, who's speaking? Raj. Uh, Raj, so you have to do it quietly, and we'll check at the end, right? So till now, whatever you said was correct. Okay. So we are okay, just looking right. at different. Yeah, we are just going to listen to different words. 
and we are going to decide left and right and let's see if everyone gets the same or not all right okay gautam go ahead okay. number 2 again sleep no no number 2 number 2 yeah sleep um gautam number 2 was is is oh sorry sorry yes is now number 3 Sleep. Again, you have to make it longer. Sleep. Okay. And number four. Sleep. Okay. Can you, everybody, un- unmute your microphones and say which city did you reach? Cairo. 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 Any other city? Sydney. <laughs> Sorry, which city? Sydney, Sydney. Sydney. Um, I was also helping Gautam, but Gautam, you really need to. So this is your weak point, okay? Gautam, you have to improve this. Make it longer and shorter. Uh, many people, like many people, got Cairo, but uh, some people also got some other place. So if everybody gets the same one, then understand that what you have said, everybody has understood understood correctly. right so um i'm going to just just repeat the words and check again together okay so the first word was ease with a long e see how i'm pronouncing ease right ease. so yeah so we go left first ease and then the second one word was is so it's a short e the third word mm. was um sleep with a long e the left and the last one was slip so cairo is the correct answer right but you have, but without my help you should be able to do it so such that everybody understood uh, understands you all right so because is and is sounds sounded same about them let me try with one more question i'm going to send four different words anybody else kush last time raised uh, raised uh, her hand so i'm going to give a chance to her uh check your chat box i'm just about to send you four words and there you go kush okay yes oh it's a he i'm so yes, sorry i thought it was it was she yes kush go ahead yes the first one is ill again ill okay number 2 Eel. Okay. Number two again. Eel. Three. Itch. Again. Itch. And number four. Peach. Peach. Go yeah, ahead, peach. everybody. Unmute yourself and tell us what city you reached. Can you zoom zoom in a little bit? Uh, Miami. 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 Miami? Yeah, it's, um... Is there anyone who reads someone else? Is there anyone who reads anyone else? Everybody reads Miami. Gotham, you didn't get it. Uh, see, I'm going to check it again. Let's see if it's actually Miami or not. Okay. Um, <coughs> if it's a little hazy, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to send this document on uh, WhatsApp as well as Facebook. and we also making youtube and instagram channels uh, either today or tomorrow so you're going to get the material okay so don't don't worry if it's a little hazy now the first one that i sent oh sujata has reached moscow let's check together um the first one was ill short e so we reach right second was ear left third was pitch short right and the the last one was speak sorry a peach so we reached miami right miami is a uh, it's 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 famous for its beaches in uh, united states of america there's a show called miami vice also 
Great. So this is how the e sound works. Okay, the e and the e sound. So you need to practice. As you saw that uh, Kush pronounced it in a way that everybody could understand very clearly. Right. So so that means that you do not have a problem in these two sounds, Kush. Okay. Good job. Great. Let's move on to our next pair of sounds. Okay. The next pair that um, I will select is. Two sounds which are very commonly confused that I've heard many people get confused with. The first one is the uh sound, like the weak uh, like about, about. The first sound, right? Uh, uh, about. And the second one is the ah sound. Ah. Right? So, like cat. Uh and ah. So these are the two ones that we are looking at. So about cat. So let's look at the first one. Can you use the chat box to or the microphone to give me more words with the uh sound, just like about? Appreciate. Appreciate. Nice. Someone said very good. Appreciate about. Oh, sound. About. Amount. Very good amount. The first sound of sound of amount, right? So appreciate around. Oh, around. Yes, around. great. Around. Away. <clears throat> Away. Very good. So right. audience. So, ja so Jata, so Jata, you said album. A has, album has the a sound. Okay, so it'll come here. Acknowledge. 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 Very good. All right. So all these sounds, the first sound only, okay? Not the later sounds, only the first sounds. All of them have the uh sound. And a uh is, is uh, the many words with a, uh, like cat, album. See, the first sound is, the, the first sound here is a. Uh. Give me more words with the a uh sound. Astronaut. <laughs> Uh, astronaut. astronaut. Correct. Astronaut is the correct word. Atmosphere. So, atmosphere. Yes. Atmosphere. So the first Black. sound here. Black as Apt the as it, Yes. Acrobat. A P T. Acrobat. Yes. A -a two sounds. Acrobat. Very good. That's two of them. Sorry. Say it again. Ambulance. Uh, ambulance. ambulance, yes, ambulance, correct. So you can use um, ambulance also. B. Astrology. Is the spelling of ambulance correct? Yeah, that's the spelling. Yeah. There are many. There are many. So there, are, uh, there are hundreds of words, right? So let's play that game with these two words. So uh, these two sounds. So on the left, I'm going to put a. Uh, Right, the uh sound, and on the right, I'm gonna put the ah uh sound. So, uh is like about, and ah uh is like cat. Okay, so four words. Let me choose one of you. Uh, let me choose Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu, can you uh, check your chat? I'm just going to post four words to you, and you have to pronounce them out. Abhimanyu, go ahead. Just read the first four words, okay? Hello. First one. Yeah. Again? Hello. Number two? And. Again? And. Number three? About. Again? About. Number four. Axe. Again? Axe. Go ahead, type in the chat box or speak it out. What Pyro. place did you read? Pyro. 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 Again. Pyro. Take us somewhere else. <laughs> where where did you reach, Raj? Cairo. 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 Everyone reached Cairo? Bombay. Yep. Aditi reached Bombay. <laughs> Money has reached Cape Town. Cape Town. And uh, <laughs> I went to Rio de Janeiro. 
someone oh, reach rio de janeiro <laughs> okay let's let's check uh, actually where we should have reached i think abhimanyu has done a very good job it's just, just like you got lost a little he pronounced both the sounds really clearly so uh, the first one was allow oh so you go left left right so we take left allow next was ant that is as has an a sound next was about about is already written on top you can see on top it's written um and the last one was ax has a a sound so it's clearly cairo so whoever reached cairo you're great that's a correct correct place to go other people you're just lost you know and you cannot come back home because there's a lockdown <laughs> okay uh great let's do this sound with one more person uh anyone else who would like to try give it a try you can use yeah. raise hand shivani wants to do it let's give it a shot shivani shivani check your chat box i'll send you four words go ahead number 1 another say it again another okay uh, the pronunciation is another ah okay another 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 no. okay another yeah next number 2 band again band next 3 sand again sand 4 abundance again abundance okay unmute and say cape which town. place okay cape town okay ashutosh has also cape reached town. cape town everyone has reached cape town let's see uh, if everyone is correct or not lovedeep has also reached cape town so um the first word was another right so let's erase this another oh clearly oh so left next word was a band a you go right next was sand a you go le- uh, right then the last one was abundance abundance oh so you reach cape town right so that's the same correct place to be at the moment great let's move on to the next pair of words okay the next pair of words we will take from um consonants now we have been looking at uh, vowels right we saw two pairs and some consonant sounds are also confused mostly in west bengal i've seen and not just west bengal but also in the middle part of india i've seen that many people confuse between these two sounds they are the z sound and the j sound right for example zoom i've heard some people say it as zoom because they cannot they uh, do not have the sound z in their language so uh maybe they uh try to copy the sounds from their own language and they mispronounce it right maybe it's in ba- bangla maybe it's only uh, about west bengal maybe some other place but it's not specific to a place right so let's first look at uh, the sound z can you give me some words that starts with z zebra z- not just start but any a word that has the word z zebra Please. correct zebra breeze breeze that's absolutely correct any other words lazy lazy perfect next giraffe zoom someone said giraffe xerox xerox okay xerox xerox as well as us i'm very good zoom yes zoom who can forget that the company that became a multi billionaire company overnight <laughs> because of <laughs> corona virus uh yeah um and then let's look at words that has the j sound j give me words come on guys sharmista says zigzag yeah that's also correct word j 
Jug. Jar. Just jar. Jar. Yeah. Any anything else? Jet. Large. Judge. Large. Yes. All Jupiter. these words. Jupiter. Juggler. Juggler. Jupiter. Yes. All of them. So you got them, guys. So let's go back to our game. So we have two sounds this time. The one is the z sound, and the second one is the j sound. So just for you to remember, it's zoo, and this is like jug. Okay. Uh, money has his hands raised till now, so I'm going to select money for the next four words. Money, unmute yourself and read down the words. Just the first four words. Zoo. Number one. Say it again. Zoo. Now, the way you're pronouncing it, although because we know this word, we know it, but you have to make the z sound clearer. Zoo. 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 Okay. Number two. Stage. Say it again. Stage. Say it again. Stage. Okay. Number three. Stage. Say it again. Like Louder. Common. Stage. Okay. And number three, number four. Zoo. Say it again. Zoo. Okay. Zoo. Unmute yourselves and tell us what place have you reached? Cape Town. Cape Town. Okay. Two of you have reached Cape Town. You can use the chat also. Where have what you reached? What are the words repeating, Anshu? Maybe if you think they were repeating, you can you can use the repeated one. Cairo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone reached Cairo. What else? London. Someone called iPhone. Can you rename yourself? Uh, rename yourself to your name. Whoever is iPhone. You said London. So as you can see, many people have reached different places. So that means money. That different people are understanding you differently. Can you understand the problem here? Right. So you have to clear up the sound of z and j. Okay. So let's check it together. The first word that money wanted to say was zoo. So it should be clearly to the left. So you reach here. The second word was uh, stage with the j sound. Stage. Next was stays. S T A Y S. Stays. You go left. And the last one was Jew, like the the Jews. Who were killed by the Nazis in Germany? Jew, the J oh. sound. So the Cairo <laughs> was correct, right? And we go oh. J, right? Right. Again, we reached Cairo. Good old Egypt. We're going it, going there again and again. Um, so let's stick to this particular sound because, as you can see, it is a commonly mistaken sound, right? Uh, let me select. Another person, and this person uh, is has not raised their hand. Let me select. Uh, uh, how about Tanya? Tanya, unmute yourself. I have unmuted you, Tanya. I I'm going to. Uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> iPhone is again raising his or her hand. Such iPhone. A, who a, is it? Sachin. Sachin. Yeah. Uh, Tanya, can you hear hear us? Could you unmute yes, yourself? Sir. Yeah, great. Just I'm gonna uh, uh, Sachin. I'm gonna just uh, call you next. Let me just okay. send Tanya forwards. Go ahead, Tanya. Number one. Change. Change. Again. Change. No, 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 number one, number one. Clearly, okay? Change. Change. Okay, number two. Change. Number three. Strange. Again. Strange. Okay, and number four. Strange. Again. Strange. Okay. Unmute yourselves, everyone. What 
place have you reached or just you can type type in the place many people seem unsure it wasn't that clear raj says uh, anyone else have you reached anywhere no where sir <laughs> Istanbul love the excess <laughs> no one reached anyone now this the thing is tania um you stressed a lot in the first part and you didn't stress much at the end right so you have to stress enough to make the sounds clear right so that is a feedback for you for for you to work on more right so let's let's check again the words that we saw the first word was chains they were they were locked up in chains right so we go left because it's a z sound chains next was change just sound third was strains strains too much laptop exposure strains my eyes strains so it's z strains the z sound and finally we have strange the j sound again we reached cairo i don't know why did i arrange the words in a way that we are reaching cairo again and again maybe there's some connection some supernatural connection that wants us to go to cairo <laughs> but cairo is the correct answer again great so you you just saw that there are um, so many sounds that confuses people if they are not pronounced properly because there are similar words with just that sound as different right so all of these words that we saw you know like uh zoo like uh chains and change strains and strange you know and previously we saw so many other words uh like uh um i don't think there are uh, in uh, and ah uh, there are many like acknowledge there's no word which has the a uh sound in rest everything is same and then in another word the only the a uh sound becomes ah uh, there's no word like that but we have got many in seat and sit deep and dip right uh there is cheek and chick there's so many so make sure that you do not can get confused here right so as i as i showed the uh, phonemic chart to you this one so this is going to really help you how if you if you ask me how is it is it going to help you in understanding these such words that we just practiced um if you touch them you'll be able to hear the sound and only the sound that troubles you you know just focus on that so you might be thinking hey i haven't used this ever and i've like grown up and uh, why should i use it all of a sudden right it it looks so complicated i'll give you a, i'll give you a very clear reason why right if you if you look at the cambridge dictionary let me delete this first so this is the Cam- cambridge dictionary right and you've just i've just searched for this word accent right so if you see the meaning is given here and meaning is something that we mostly look dictionaries up for right so we just focus on meaning and we go away but remember every word has three things in them okay so you can't just do away with just knowing the meaning you have three things the first thing is meaning which you see anyway the second thing is as important as meaning that is the sound and the third thing is the form or the grammatical category right let's let's try gram here like for grammar so for grammar you see that uh, they always mention what type of word it is like noun or uh, countable or not c means countable here right but just below that you see uk and us they are the two accents which are widely popular and widely accepted so uh, you can choose any although mostly in india we follow the british british way of british accent not we don't copy the accent but we listen i told you train your ear so we tend to train our ears to as a british accent or if you can mute yourselves now yeah there's some noise yeah 
um but see what comes after that see they are the same ipa the phonemic transcriptions that we saw right the symbols see the a sound here and see the a uh sound here so all these things you know that you that that the dictionary gives you um are going to help you to understand the word not just the meaning but also understand the sound of it and see which particular sound mark that this is important which particular sound you produce differently in a way the in in a way that the meaning gets lost right so if the meaning doesn't get lost you are, are successfully communicating but if you're trying to copy an accent and the meaning is getting lost or if you're trying your best by focusing only on meaning and form grammar and the meaning and you're not focusing much on the sound then it will be really difficult for people to follow right so in order to practice at home right so there are many more sounds which you need to practice i have a brilliant website for you right uh, you i i will show you the qr code again again when you watch the video just look at the uh, just take a qr code scanner on your phone and just scan it and you'll get the website it has a list of many beautiful uh, minimal pairs like these uh, so what is minimal pair minimum minimal pairs are exactly the ones that we saw right so let me show that and should instead of a uh, anshu yeah? uh, one request instead of the qr code if you can send yeah. us a link i will in the whatsapp I, yes i don't know yes yeah. uh, in Thank the whatsapp you so group much. i'm going to do that deep yeah thanks um here is the qr code so this is of this beautiful website with minimal pairs called englishclub.com it has got many good resources and this particular site is on minimal pairs means such sounds uh which will change in two words and rest all the other sounds will remain same right that's what we we practice in the whole lesson today great so uh, that's pretty much it guys so uh, just focus on um, not just speaking skills which we saw in the first day of this workshop three day workshop uh, expressing uh, opinions and agreeing with it being so just focus on accuracy that is grammar and we looked at talking about uh, imaginary situations in the present and future but also focus on individual sounds right and that is uh, what our of uh, the aim of this session was so that's 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 it for this session uh questions comments doubts bring it on guys anything anyone ashutosh says great oh. lesson lovely thank you anshu for amazing session this is something new i learned today Thanks a lot lovely it was it was nice for me to uh, someone was saying something yes it was raj so yes. i wanted to say that uh, you also commented uh, on it before that my pronunciation yeah. is uh, okay i mean i pronounce things correctly okay but there were there are there were a very um, i mean new things today that i learned about sim- single sounds you know single uh-huh. each each word each letter has a sound Yeah. and how it changes like uh, like the word you used um i'm forgetting that from a eh sound uh another a nub you said another so another, now it has a n o a n o t h e r yes. so why is yes. this o pronounced as a i i didn't understand now as of now but uh, uh, i will have to figure it out i see uh just a second so so in order to answer that Uh, I'll remind you that G O G O and T O T O example, you know. So see, English spelling and the sound has a very weak relationship. So every time we try to create a rule that a, a O after a consonant will have a U sound, you have another word that breaks the rule. You know that's why we have a separate language and we have to go individually. That's why it becomes tricky in English, you know, because you can't trust mm. the spelling. You have to know individual sounds. and also Anyone a lot else? of pronunciations yeah. depend on uh, the origin of that word yep. and the meaning absolutely. of that word yeah absolutely so, right so one said, yes. one word can be derived from the other word which mm-hmm. you know which gives us the idea of how it should be pronounced 
Yeah, <laughs> that reminds me of a very nice word. Like <clears throat> many people say ethos. E T H O S as ethos. Like his ethos is good. Mm-hmm. But it has come from Greek and and thos. I think it means god. I'm not very sure, but thos means god, god and ethos. The 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 word together it it becomes ethos and the pronunciation will be same if you look at all the other greek words that ends with os they all have the same sound of os so very awesome. good point raj yes that's very good mm. any other questions any other comments so uh, <clears throat> differentiate between intonation between uh, intonation your voice and yeah. uh, modulation Oh okay. <clears throat> a good question. A very good question. See, intonation uh, has a meaning. Modulation has a has the effect of a, a narrator of a story or someone who gives public speeches. Their modulation changes. For example, I'll give you a demo. Right. Sometimes, <clears throat> for effect. if you want to become a public speaker for effect you need to change the way you modulate like you you modulate your voice for example uh, you want to say that something was really bad and messy so it's like um i went out of my house everything was going up, upside down nothing was available the cabs weren't taking my bookings and the road was blocked and everything went haywire but the moment i stepped into my office things became quiet and nice and blissful now see i changed my modulation first i had a very fast paced high pitched voice and then i made it slower and you know to show that i was peaceful and happy that was modulation intonation is there in accent for example you did your homework is it goes up means i'm asking a question and you did your homework it's a statement see the difference in intonation just like a change of pitch changes the meaning and modulation is for effect in speech i hope that clarifies your doubt does that clarify your doubt uh, aditi sorry sir i was disconnected from the zoom app so i got disconnected i could you got disconnected you can look at the answer on the recording okay we have recorded it so we <laughs> just yeah so that will that will that will be here so for you okay i think that's that's pretty much it time for an announcement guys so um we have done this three day session right and what is coming next is um a structured course so i'm going to do courses in a structured way in which i'll tell you the number of days i'll tell you the timings and we will just focus on certain things and get more things done unlike these workshop sessions in which we did just like 40 minutes and 50 minutes of only one skill right so that's that's okay but in order to really build on your 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 speaking listening writing and reading skills you have to know the different aspects of a skill you know how to read better you can't just cover everything in one session there are different elements to it how to speak better you have different elements to it right how to write how to understand the different genres of writing so this is what my plan is because i don't think this quarantine and this lock up lockdown is lock up was a freud and slip it's actually feels like a lock up <laughs> <laughs> so the lockdown uh, is not going to be lifted soon that's what i fear even if it does i'm still going to take the plunge and just plan out something more structured so people who are more interested in writing and you know creative writing or speaking i'm going to have like four or five days set out and we'll just going to be very specific we'll have more uh, regular participants in those kind of structures we will we'll take registrations for that i'm going to keep it free till now and uh, we'll we'll take in anybody who applies because i think zoom has has a limit of 1000 participants the one the account that i have so the the more the better you know um and regarding individual feedback and helping you individually that won't happen unless i have a very short group you know like just 
uh, 10 to 15 maximum people so that i can individually you know like split you into groups and go and help you individually so uh, i think that i will do eventually but not at the moment so let me keep the free classes and sessions rolling for some time at least yeah great so anything else that anyone would want to aren't you sure i have a question yes. here yes uh aren't you sure i have already taken classes from you earlier and uh, you told me is about the pronunciation earlier uh i'm sorry is it sunil who is speaking uh no this is sachin sachin oh sachin, sachin. yes yes sachin yeah so yes. i have already taken classes from you earlier and yeah, uh, yeah. you told me my pronunciation is good and the hesitation is uh, very minimal at the okay. time of speaking so um i have a little doubt about these sounds uh, like uh, do i need to practice them by reading some articles from the newspapers or i just I told you i just told you this app and listening to your own self and comparing your sounds with the dic- with with the dictionary's pronunciation you know you know just compare mm-hmm. and see that how your individual words are, uh, sounds are different and try to fix mm-hmm. them like that Sachin and this goes to everybody the best way to understand how to fix your pronunciation is to be aware of the errors that's step 1 mm-hmm. be aware of your errors and in order to do that one of the finest way to uh, go about understanding your errors is to record yourself just audio record yourself don't do a video recording then your focus will go on your hairstyle and other things but focus do an audio <laughs> recording where you just focus on the way you sound and trust me that is going to revolutionize the way you uh, see or hear yourself and understand how good or bad a speaker you are okay All so right. yeah sachin thank you um thank you anshu that's so nice of you anshu yeah thank you so you can only differentiate between intonation and modulation aditi have already answered yeah there's no more questions Uh, yeah that's all okay guys see you bye 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 anshu thank you so much bye thank you thank you bye thank you thank you yeah, kakuli thank you everyone have a great evening have everyone have a safe time till then i'll make all the announcements on the whatsapp group okay on the whatsapp thank group you. on the facebook page also and we are making instagram in the um, um youtube channels also so all the announcements will be made everywhere